Hey guys, Jeremy Crow here. Um, I'm going to do a video today, um, just kind of uh, giving a bit of a wrap up of the Flambeau Noir that uh, happened over the weekend. So this is the International Left Hand Path Conference that occurred in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada on the weekend of April the 28th to the 30th of 2017. Um, yeah, so this is an event, uh, we called it Flambeau Noir, which means Black Torch. And this was um, an international left-hand path conference that is for all people who are interested in the occult. Not just left-hand path, but obviously it's uh, kind of got that focus. Um, this has happened, I think this is the uh, the fourth one. Uh, that happened. Uh, this is the first one that we've branded as Flambeau Noir. Um, but uh, three other or four other events like this have happened. So the first one was in 2012 back in Toronto. Um, that one I manifested um, and produced and hosted and all that stuff. It was really cool. Um, and then there was one that uh, Lori Numaticos uh, headed up. I helped her out with it for Indianapolis, Indiana in 2014. Then uh, Lori uh, went out on her own and did one that she branded as a Consortium. And she did that in Atlanta, Georgia last year, uh, 2016. And now we have... Um, uh, I guess this is the fourth one then, um, Flambeau Noir. And this is uh, the one that uh, myself, Justin Dickey, and Helene Arts uh, co-hosted. And we did this in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, as I said. And I, I think that this is probably the most successful one yet, actually, for a bunch of reasons. Um, for one thing, I believe that uh, we either broke even or will break even um, and that's a first uh, the the cheapest one so far I think lost two and a half grand or so uh, previous to this and some of them have lost more um, this one I believe broke even so that's pretty amazing um, we might actually uh, get a little bit extra once the Blu-ray documentary is out where I, um, we captured a lot of HD footage and really high quality audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a Blu-ray out of this. Um, we're also going to try and get together a book um, and uh, so these can help um, recoup the costs, bring us up to that break-even point if we do go above. Uh, some of that money is going to go towards uh, some of the people that um, spend a lot of money to, to get there and present. Um, so that'll be really cool. It'd be really great to be able to cover that for for all the the, the presenters, um, or at least give a you know I, I don't imagine it's going to be covered, but I, I do believe that it, it may be possible that we might be able to uh, give a little bit. Uh, to help compensate them for that. Um, there was some amazing vendors, uh, some amazing uh, stone carving, um, jewelry, artwork, books. Oh, it was, it was amazing. I, I managed to get some out-of-print books from Anathema Publishing that uh, I checked online, and one of them is, is uh, going for $600. Um, I didn't pay that much for it, which is really cool. Um, I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> it's just for, for my collection. Uh, I actually got a couple books there. Shani Oates signed a book that I got from her that was a sold-out book as well, which is really cool. Uh, she came all the way from the UK, which is incredible. Uh, she honored me by doing one of the by performing one of the ceremonies that I wrote. Uh, along with Justin. Her and Justin performed my Rite of Forbidden Knowledge on Sunday morning as a kind of a Sunday morning mass, a left-hand path uh, Gnostic Luciferian mass. Um, and, and in fact, it's funny, uh, this morning in my jacket, I found uh, an apple seed from the apple that was used in the ceremony. Uh, 
So I thought that was really neat. I wonder if it's viable and maybe I'll try and grow it. <laughs> um, there's just so much that I can say about this event. There's so many cool people that I got to spend time with. Uh, Justin Mundell from Austin, Texas. Um, Zen Cole, uh, aka Season Cole from uh, Portland. That, she was really fun to hang out with. Um, I, I mean, just a lot of people. Uh, Nico and their husband Drew were really cool. Um, you know, I, I could go on, you know, I, I don't want to miss people, but uh, there was a lot of people there that I really enjoyed spending time with. It was really cool. Um, Ottawa was neat. I had some amazing poutine. <laughs> um, the fish, though. I, I ordered fish at two different restaurants, and it was bad both times. <laughs> that was the worst part about it, I guess, uh, getting bad fish and uh, not eating as much as I would like to. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I don't really have a lot of time uh, right now. I got a lot of stuff going on, but uh, it was really cool. And we're going to do it again. And uh, stay stay tuned for the Blu-ray if you didn't get a chance to go. Or if you did get a chance to go, but you want a copy of these uh, uh, lectures. Uh, a lot of the lectures we're going to have. Uh, some of them are going to have the entire lecture. Some of them will be clips. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Peace out.